Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I made a video on how to do this the other day using the intersect tool, and it might be a little bit different or difficult for some people, so I'm just going to type out two letters, and I'm going to make them Times New Roman just to give them a little bit of flair. And then what I'm going to do a little bit different than this, I'm going to go ahead and break them apart. And then I'm going to take them both and, and convert them to a curve because that'll give me nodes. Instead of just making the T bigger, I'm just going to make the T longer by holding down the control button and moving the node. Now I'm going to left click, right click, and put outlines on both of them. And I'm going to hit P and put them in the center of the page. And you can see the S fits in there quite nicely. I've got my nudge factor set on five inches where this is less than four. I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill in that, 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 and that, leaving those spaces. I can actually, move, I don't actually have to move all the green. I only have to move out these three that are intersected together. And you can see the line. So I'm going to weld them together and the line disappears. Now I can take my S and hit blue. I can actually right click no outline. I can out right click no outline on the S and then just nudge them back and it looks like it's the two letters are intersecting. But what I did is I got away from the uh, lines in this item when I welded them together. So it made it one piece. Kind of back up here real quick. Before I welded them, and like I said in the previous part, all I had to really do is do these three parts. And even though I'm going to take away the line, if maybe in printing, there might be a line there. So if you will take that and weld it, then you can just take that back, take the, the text or the T, and then select them both and take away the outline. So instead of using the intersect tool, you can just use the smart fill tool. Maybe easier for some people and sometimes a little bit quicker. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.